Welcome back, everyone. So it's been cool and rainy yesterday and today, but I think all of us here in the valley will take this compared to what's going on up north in the Midwest and the Northeast with bitter cold. It will stay cool for this afternoon with temperatures in the 60s. Now, here's the radar. I've had to fine tune the radar to show you the small rain or the light rain showers moving right through parts of the mid and lower valley. And sometimes these rain droplets are so small they cannot be picked up by the beam, but they're out there still seeing some drizzle and light rain at least for the next couple of hours. The roads are slick out there, so please do be careful when driving. But over the next few hours, those rain chances will start to dwindle. Look at the temperatures right now. 56 degrees in Rio Grande City. It is 60 here uh, in McAllen and here in Westlaco, but 72 out east in Harlingen and Port Isabel, 68 in Brownsville and 72 degrees in Raymondville. Here's your day planner forecast. I would hang on to the umbrellas at least for this afternoon. There's still a chance for some leftover scattered showers or some spotty drizzle at 3 p.m. with temperatures in the mid 60s, 67 at 6 p.m. Again, the rain chances will start to decrease later on this afternoon and this evening. Mostly cloudy, rather cloudy for tonight. Still a leftover shower possible at 9 p.m. And the temperature should be in the mid-60s. So the temperatures won't drop all that much more for this afternoon or for at least the first half of this evening. Things do look better for Super Bowl Sunday. We just have to get through Saturday. We're going to up the rain chances to 50% on Saturday. But it's mild and cloudy with highs in the mid-70s. Things dry out for Sunday. Mostly cloudy in the morning, but then partly cloudy and breezy for the afternoon with high temperatures in the lower 80s if you have any cookouts planned for Sunday afternoon. So here's a surface map. We have actually a little area of low pressure just off uh, the coast that is bringing all the rain. We also have cooler at the surface that is being overrun by warm, moist air loft. So that's why it's been cloudy and cool and drizzly and rainy, all those things. A lot of rain moving right through Corpus Christi and just north or south of San Antonio. One front draped over Oklahoma and Arkansas. So here are the temperatures in Texas. Considering this is not too bad, right now 55 in Abilene, 60 here in McAllen, 56 in Houston, 52 in Amarillo. Look up north, though. 12 below zero in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 13 below Winnipeg, 15 below in Thunder Bay, 10 below in Green Bay, 9 below in Chicago, 1 in Bismarck. At least it's 41 degrees in Rapid City and 43 in Denver. So back home in Texas, here's future track. Area of low pressure is just going to meander over the Gulf of Mexico. As it swings a bit toward the north and east, things will dry out just a bit for Friday. Then it tries to come back uh, to the south. So we're going to keep in that chance for some showers on Saturday. We also have this upper disturbance, the big red L aloft. That's going to move right through Texas. So there's enough instability to give us that chance for some scattered showers on Saturday. So have the umbrellas handy on Saturday. But it does dry out just in time for Super Bowl. Sunday with more sunshine finally by the afternoon and it's also a warming trend over the next couple of days. We don't have many fronts to talk about until next Wednesday. That next front comes in by Wednesday so we think that after high temperatures in the 80s Tuesday and Wednesday it will cool off just in time for next Thursday. So to recap 70% chance well, okay that was this morning so the rain chances come down for this afternoon 20% chance of some showers tomorrow night we have a 50% chance of showers on Saturday. We'll zoom in on future track cloudy skies continue the model less optimistic on rain for this afternoon and for this evening, but we will still leave in a slight chance for some showers. Should be drier finally for Friday and Friday afternoon, but there is a slight chance for some showers Friday night and then a better chance for some rain on Saturday. Small craft advisory continues on the water this afternoon. We'll have winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 knots. The bay waters are a moderate chop and the seas will be 5 to 9 feet. So for today, just cloudy and cool with highs in the upper 60s. Still some leftover showers. I know no one likes leftovers, but we still have the chance for some leftover showers this afternoon and for tonight down to 55 degrees cloudy and cool watch out for some patchy overnight fog and here's that seven day forecast it is a warming trend folks for the next couple of days 72 on friday 74 on saturday with a better chance of showers but dry for sunday with highs in the lower 80s that's your first one five forecast